Today I've got a tutorial on how to remove shadows from your switcher. There's lots of themes around nowadays and many of those include icons where the actual size of them is smaller than the default apple size. Um, like I've got here which obviously comes in useful if you've got five columns. Um, themes nowadays are very good at removing the black squares that sometimes you used to get on your springboard. And you see here there's none here and this was just done by the theme. But unfortunately this theme hasn't removed the squares in the switcher. Now um, this was really annoying me so I've worked out a way on how to get rid of these little shadows around the icons in the switcher and I'm just going to share that with you today. So there's uh, two ways of going about this. One is automatically, uh, get, get it done automatically in Winterboard or you can do it manually by editing the files. If you'd like to do this manually then click the annotation on the screen now and that will take you to the later on in the video where I'll show you how to do this manually but for now I'll show you how to do this with Winterboard. The first thing you want to do is find the download of the theme tweak in the description and you want to download that to your desktop and uh, we'll carry on from there. Okay, once you have downloaded that to your desktop you should get a zip file that looks like this, no switch shadow. Just unarchive that and you just get a folder of the same name. I'll just show you what's in this folder. Um, all it is really is this file here which um, basically just removes the shadow from the switcher. Um, so it's not a big thing or anything, uh, so it's not going to take up any memory. All you've got to do is drop this into your themes folder for it to show up in Winterboard. Now for this obviously yeah, if you've got it on your desktop you will have to either SSH into your phone or um, you can use a client application like I have here called iFunbox. So I'll show you where you want, all you need to do is drop this into your themes folder. I'll show you where that is. If you go from the start, all you want to do is go to library and themes. Just down there. That's it, that's, that's that simple. So just drop that in to this folder, the unarchived version. Drop that in there and you'll see that there. So now if we go back to the iPhone, that tweak should now show up in Winterboard and um, we should be able to activate it. Okay, so here we are back in our phone, and if we just scroll over to Winterboard, I'll just show you that the shadows are still there at the moment, like that. So if we just go into Select Themes, you will now see this new entry called No Switcher Shadow that we've just put in. You just want to click that and move it to the top. Make sure it's on the top. As I say, it is under that one file, so it won't affect any of your other themes. And uh, with that on top and activated, you can tell it's activated by the little tick by the side, we can respring. Now that we've resprung, we can hopefully see that the switches shadows have gone, as you can see there. And all that is, is with the... Uh, See, they've gone from these as well. All it is with that little Winterboard tweak selected at the top, and it works just fine. So, if this hasn't worked for you, on the slight chance that it hasn't, um, there is a reason for that. It, it probably won't work for you first time, and the only reason for that is, not because it doesn't work or anything, is because how, what the, how the iPhone works is it... Uh, it caches all these images into folders away from the actual default files. So if you've activated it, make sure you've you've put it at the top, you've downloaded it all correctly, all the files are there, it's activated, it's at the top, and it still hasn't worked first time, like the, the shadows, say the shadows were still there, then that all that's because is the original files are still in your iPhone cache. So to get rid of that, all you want to do is download this here, which is fs wipe cache. If you search on um, Cydia, it's uh, default in Mod My Eye source, so you'll be able to just download that straight away from Cydia. I'll just show you it now. All you want to search is fs wipe cache. As I say, you don't have to add any sources, it's in the default sources for Cydia. 
once that's loaded you'll see it there in mod my eye for free so just click on that install it so once you've installed that it'll install an icon onto your springboard you can see mine there um, so basically yeah once you have activated that winterboard resprang if it still hasn't worked then all you need to do is just click this as soon as you click it it'll do all the work for you itself and it'll respring automatically so um, click it once it'll wipe all the caches it'll respring automatically and then it should work just fine I'll show you what it looks like inside there you go there you see it's just clearing the caches and then once it has resprung with the caches cleared there is no reason that, that winter bar tweak if activated at the top shouldn't work and there you go, that's all there is to it. So if you want to see how this is done manually, um, I'll show you how to edit the file in iFile. So from the start, all you want to do is go to System, Library, Core Services, and then Springboard.app. So this is how to edit it manually. And all I'm doing now is navigating to the actual image, the actual PNG image that is the shadow behind the icons and obviously if we remove that then there can't be a shadow behind there so what you want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom with the S's and you will see eventually this here switcher icon shadow uh, because I'm on the iPhone 3GS mine is switcher icon shadow wavy dash iPhone.png um, if you're on different models this actual file name might be different and um, so if you do the Winterboard tweak before, and this doesn't work. Um, the Winterboard tweak doesn't work even after you've cleared the caches. It will be because the the actual name of the image on your iPhone is different. Um, I know that for the Retina display, that sometimes it is um, wave dash iPhone at 2x.png. So if it hasn't worked for you. You just want to navigate to this spot here, find the name of this switcher icon shadow, and then if there's anything at the end, it might just be .png, it might be wavy dash iPhone at 2x.png, or it might just be switcher icon shadow at 2x.png. So it depends on your version of the iPhone. I think the 4S has the at 2x PNGs, um, but yeah, if it hasn't worked for you, you just come into here, see the name of the file and change the name of the file in the actual tweak that you download to exactly what it is here and that should work just fine once you drag it in and activate it so um, to get rid of it manually all you want to do is go into the name change it to something like maybe iPhone underscore back because obviously you want to keep the file there in case you ever want it again so this is just like a backup click done and now that you've renamed that um, when the iPhone goes to find that file it won't be there and so there won't be a shadow with that changed you should be able to respring or in fact click uh, the cache wipe the cache and um, that will respring automatically and you should be able to check your switcher and the shadows will be gone uh, as a last note if you don't want to download this tweak for some reason or it won't work on your iPhone or something I will just quickly show you where the actual cache files are so if you want to you can delete them manually all you want to do is go to you come all the way back to the start you want to go to var mobile library caches and scroll down, I will show you which caches you want to delete in order to clear the switcher. You'll see these four files here Linen 0, Switcher Linen 0, Switcher Linen 1, Switcher Linen 2, and Switcher Linen 3. There is also Notification Center Linen. Um, as I say, because these are just caches, you can delete any and every of these, and it won't affect your iPhone in any way. The cache, if it isn't there, the iPhone just rebuilds it with the current files and this is all we're doing, this is what we want really so all you need to really delete is those four but if that doesn't work you can 
also delete any of these that have springboard.app um, and see if that helps. It shouldn't really make a difference, but things like that one down there with the notification center, obviously the notification doesn't shouldn't really affect it, but I know that when I've deleted those four original files, the linen zero linen to linen three, uh, sometimes it hasn't worked. Uh, the Cydia tweak works every time, so I would advise just uh, downloading that. But if for any reason you wouldn't want to do that, you can delete those four files. This is a springboard.app one. That's a springboard.app one. That's a springboard.app one. So I've just deleted all the springboard apps there. As I say, you can just delete the whole thing because they are just caches. Um, so with those selected, delete, move eight files to trash. I also empty the trash as well, just for that. Um, and basically, that's just done the same job by clearing those caches as this uh, this tweak does. But um, yeah, that's basically it. So once you've either edited the file manually or you've activated the winterboard tweak, um, click, and then once you've cleared the caches, it should work just fine. So I hope you've uh, hope that's worked for you, and I hope you. I'm finally glad you found a way of getting rid of those squares. Um, please stay tuned for more videos to come. Thanks.